Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back to share a collective perfume haul with you. So a lot of these are just new perfumes that I've picked up recently. I picked up, um, I've picked up a few things off of Mercari, uh, like a lot of things off of Mercari actually. Um, they're just not all here yet. And I also have received some things from subscribers that I am so excited to share with you. So I'm going to jump right in. I will start with the uh, things that I have purchased and then I will leave the things that were sent to me for last. Um, but yeah, let's start with the fragrances that I picked up off of Mercari recently. So the first one is this one here. This is Gucci Flora. This is the Eau de Parfum formulation. This is what I'm wearing today. I love this fragrance. For me, this is a predominantly like Osmanthus fragrance. It's got a beautiful, light, tea-like quality to it because of that beautiful Osmanthus. It's such a pleasant, sweet, light floral. I adore it. I love it so much. I've got a pen spray of this. I forget about it. It's, um, it stays in my little bin with all of my pen sprays. I think the one that I've got is the EDP formulation though, which I also love, but the EDT does, or I'm sorry, but the EDP does last a little bit longer for me. It's still not the best performing fragrance in the world, but I can smell it on me for a good six hours at least. Um, this one has been discontinued. I have been keeping my eye out for a bottle for a while now, and this one came up for a really, really good price. So I went ahead and grabbed it. I love the bottle too. I think the bottle is really, really pretty. Um, I love the black lid and just the shape of the bottle. It's just beautiful. So anyways, that is Gucci Flora the Eau de Parfum formulation. Next, I picked up this guy. I found this, um, this was on Mercari. Somebody listed it for, I think, $15. They dropped the price to $14, and then I was like all in. I went ahead and bought it. This is Lancome Miracle, just the original one, not one of the flankers, but the Eau de Parfum. Um, this is one of the, I don't know why, my camera has had the worst time focusing recently. Like, it's time to upgrade. Um, but anyways, this is, I'm not typically the hugest fan of Lancome fragrances, but there's something so pretty about this. It's very light and clean smelling, and it's just really, really nice. It's one of those fragrances that when it dries down on your skin, it's, it's just really pleasantly, lightly perfumey. So you definitely smell like you're wearing perfume because all Lancome fragrances to me are very perfumey. But there's just something super pleasant and like really expensive smelling about this to me. I just really enjoy Miracle. Um, out of all of the kind of regular Lancome fragrances, this is the one that I enjoy the most. To me, I feel like this has got the same kind of DNA as Le Von Strianon. Like it's got, I don't know, there's something, not that they smell alike at all, but it's got that, it's got like a very similar DNA. It's really nice, I just enjoy it. So anyways, that is Lancome Miracle. I am glad to have that one in my collection. Okay, and then the last one that I picked up off of Mercari is this one here. This is the Laura Mercier Almond Coconut, it's Eau de Toilette. I picked this up because I recently picked up an oil, like a dupe oil from Sweet Essentials that is the Laura Mercier Almond Coconut Type. And I am so obsessed with it. It's been like my favorite coconut to wear this year. I've loved it so much. And I, I said like in one of my recent videos how much I would like to find a perfume that smells like it. And I'm like, well, duh, it was it's a type, it's based on a perfume. So I got a Mercari to find the perfume and I found it. Um, somebody was selling this bottle for a really good price. Um, it does, the oil does smell really, really similar to this. I don't know what it is about this fragrance that is making me so obsessed with it. There's nothing groundbreaking about it at all. I think I love it though because it's like a it's like this perfect mix of almond and coconut. You get like the slightest bit of powderiness and this really clean, 
like not at all sweet, very, very realistic smelling coconut. And something about the combination of those notes is so good. It's like super yummy and decadent smelling, but without being sweet. It smells edible, like something you want to eat, like a dessert, but it's not sweet. I don't know. There's just something about it that I am so in love with. And yeah, so I had to pick up a bottle of the perfume because the oil does not last very long at all. This perfume is, it's like the ombre vanille for me. It performs really, really well. I can get a good six to eight hours out of this. It lasts a really long time on clothing. I've been layering this over the oil and it is such a good combination. It's so good. It's like my perfect coconut for this year. I'm just obsessed with it. So anyways, that is Laura Mercier Almond Coconut. Such a beauty. Okay, and then next I picked up this gorgeous <laughs> fragrance. This is from Ascada. This is called Cherry in Japan. This is a limited edition new perfume that they came out with. I will be keeping mine in the box because the box is so beautiful and I, I love Japan. My daughter loves Japan and this is just such a beautiful like nod to Japan. It's got like Mount Fuji on it and the red sun from their flag and um, it's got the like these zen rocks. It's got cherry blossoms on it and a fan like a geisha fan and it's got like temples on the box. It's just an amazing little box. It's so pretty. So anyways, I was going, I think I just filtered, like I went into perfumes and then I filtered the new ones or maybe I was just in the what's new section and I saw this and man, I could not add this to my cart fast enough because I was like, I would bet you that it smells a whole lot like Cherry in the Air, which Cherry in the Air is a beautiful Escada fragrance that has been discontinued for a long time. Um, this smells exactly like Cherry in the Air, like exactly. From my memory, um, I, I haven't smelled Cherry in the Air for a while, so there could be differences, but I swear if if somebody told me they just rebottled cherry in the air into this cherry in Japan bottle, I would believe you. It smells exactly like cherry in the air, so I was so excited to pick this one up. I just think it's such a beautiful fragrance. Like if you guys have ever smelled cherry in the air, it is the most beautiful, like sweet, floral cherry. Oh, it's so good. It's a Scotta sweet, so you have to like you know, sweet Escada fragrances to enjoy this, which I do. I don't enjoy them all, but I enjoy a lot of them. But yeah, I am just so, so happy to have this in my life because it smells exactly like cherry in the air. So anyways, that is Escada Cherry in Japan. That is a new limited edition fragrance that just came out. It wasn't bad either. For being a brand new fragrance that just came out and that I picked up from Ulta, um, they even have origami on the box. It's just the cutest thing ever. Yeah, I think it was $50, which I don't think is terrible. Okay, next I picked up a couple of fragrances from Nordstrom Rack. So let's start with the Guess one. I picked up this one here. This is called Guess Dare uh, Women. This is an eau de toilette. This is just a one ounce bottle. And this is, this is what this guy looks like. I mean, it's not a horrible bottle. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's not terrible either. Um, this one I was super, super surprised. Yeah, it smells exactly like something else to me. I'll figure it out and I'll put it on the screen for you guys. But it's, there's nothing groundbreaking about it. It's kind of clean smelling. It's got... It's sweet. It's like a celebrity fragrance, really, but there's something about it that I really like. It's really, really nice, and it smells really nice on my skin. So, yeah, I haven't given this one a good wear test yet, though, so I will give it a good wear test, and I will talk about it in a What I Wore Last Week video where I'll tell you how the performance is and how it, you know, how it wears on me and all of those things. But yeah, first sniff, I really did enjoy this one. So anyways, that is Guess Dare for women. And then I also picked up this one. And I don't know why, because I have seen this, I've come across this in TJ Maxx before a few times, and I look up the notes, and I look at the description of it, and I've never picked it up for a reason, because I know it's not something I'm going to enjoy. I don't know why I did it. I just... I finally just did it. This is not even a half ounce. It's just under a half ounce, and I'm glad. 
Um, I'm glad I didn't buy a whole bunch of it. I will say this box is kind of cool. Like you open the top and then it pops out like this. And then it's like this really nice big black atomizer. Um, yeah, this one, I don't know. I'm going to have to wait until cooler weather because it's really, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I actually might end up liking this because there's something really addicting about it. It's like, it's patchouli and dark and spicy and almost ambery. And I really, really love those. But And I think what it was was when I first sprayed it, I felt like I was getting kind of like a fruit chuli vibe from it. But it's not a fruit chuli. It actually ends up drying down to being more of like a really spiced, like very ambery patchouli. So I actually think I'm going to end up liking this. I don't know why I just told you I didn't like it from a, a very like brief sniff of it. Because I remember thinking a little bit later, no, I think that that's actually kind of nice and like I'm going to like it. And I knew that before I even sat down. So I don't know why I said that. But yeah, this one could go either way. I might end up really, really liking it. I mean, might end up really not liking it. I can tell you it smells way, way more expensive than it was. It smells like a very, very expensive niche fragrance. Honestly, it's super, super nice. So yeah, um, this one is also very unisex. I think that the, anybody could wear this. It doesn't lean too feminine or too masculine. I think anybody could wear this. It's beautiful. But it's dark, deep, spicy, meant for winter time for sure. So I can't wait. Give that a go in the winter. It's beautiful. I might even test it in the summertime. I'll just wait until it's like, you know, nighttime and then it won't be blazing hot. Okay, so those are all of the fragrances that I bought. Now I'm going to go through some things that were sent over to me and oh my gosh. Um, so I've got a whole box of stuff here that I've been hanging on to until I could sit down and film this. And But I'm going to start with this one here. So the same person, I'm going to start with these two. The same person sent me both of these. This I'm going to do a whole video on because this, these are gorgeous and they, it, they definitely warrant a whole video. This I just got in the mail yesterday. She sent me an email because she tracked this and saw that it had been delivered, but, um, but yeah, I hadn't checked my post office. So anyways, I ran to the post office and I picked this up and I was expecting like a sample because I think she said, or I, I could have sworn she said she sent me a sample of this. But when I got it, it was a full bottle and I could not believe it. She said that it's like this really interesting, very unique perfume house called Akirio Dream House. And this one, she said that this one, she said she loves the house, that they're so unique and that they remind her a lot of like Matthew Melleg's fragrances. So she knew I would love them. And she said that this one was her favorite. This one is called White Rabbit. Um, the, I'm telling you guys, this is so cool. So this is sealed with like, it's more of like a, kind of like an epoxy or a rubber or something. It's definitely not wax. It looks like wax though. But yeah, that's just an eye on the top. My camera's not going to focus very well on it, but there we go. Yeah, it's just like an eye on the top, I'm guessing for a curio. And this is this beautiful, it's kind of like this pearlescent white, like epoxy. And I had to like sever it to get the cap off. But anyways, and you, you're not going to be able to see probably on camera because it's really hard to see even in person, but there's like imagery on the front of the bottle. It's like a woman and it says white rabbit around the bottom, which like I said, even in person, it's really hard to see. Um, it's the way that the bottle is done though is so interesting and it's very vintage looking. And as soon as I smell this, I immediately sprayed this on just to test it. I sprayed it on my hand and I will tell you guys, I immediately got Amarige 
it immediately smelled like Givenchy Amarige. It is this beautiful, sweet, vintage smelling white floral. Like my favorite kind of vintage perfume. It is so, it's like such a powerful sweet white floral. And that's just what I thought it was gonna be. But then as it was drying down and like as it kept drying down, I kept getting these whiffs of like a gourmand perfume. Like I kept smelling like this beautiful, car almost like a caramel, like a gourmand caramel vanilla, just beautiful fragrance. And that really started to come forward and the white florals kind of started to really settle down into the background. So this is like one of the most amazing fragrances ever. For those of you out there that love Amarige, like a beautiful sweet white floral, but you love a good gourmand, you want to smell edible too, this is, I've never, I've never seen, I, I mean, I've never tried anything like this because that's what it is. It's like the most beautiful vintage-y white floral, but that dries down to such a yummy gourmand. It's amazing. I was so floored by it. Um, I just wasn't expecting that at all. I was expecting something amazing and vintage kind of smelling like, like a Matthew Mellick fragrance. But this is like on another level because it's gourmand. And I'm such a gourmand freak. I just, oh my gosh, I can't even. So thank you so much to Tatiana. She's the one that sent this over to me. I cannot believe it was a full bottle. I was expecting like a sample, which I would have been so happy to get my nose on even just a sample. But when I saw a full bottle, I was like, I can't even believe it. It's amazing though. So anyways, this one is called uh, White Rabbit from a Curio. I think it's a Curio Dream House. They've got a really neat website too. But anyways, yeah, so that's the first one. So amazing. And then she also had this scent. So this is a little discovery kit from a brand called Zents. And I had never, I had never heard of this brand before. So yeah, this one, it says this is the Bespoke collection. It comes, so it's all of these fragrances. There's one called Oolong, Sun, Mandarin, or Fig, Water, Fresh, Petal, Earth, and Anjou. But they're all, they're not like single note perfumes. They're all blends of things. Um, I have not, I, I took them out and I sprayed them and smelled them, but I haven't, I didn't want to use because they come with little, um, you know, scents sticks and I'm gonna do a whole video on these because these are gorgeous this was another brand I had never even heard of and yeah these this definitely warrants a whole video we'll go through and sniff all of these and talk about all the notes in them they're beautiful um, so again thank you again to Tatiana she sent those as well and I am so excited to play with that set. Yeah, and then another beautiful subscriber. This is, she's sent me so many things. Um, this is the person that I, she sent me a bottle of Guerlain Queer Beluga. Um, she sold me a bottle of Neroli Outre Noir for a really, really amazing price. Um, she's just, she's been so amazing. And she sent me this beautiful box, but this was more like a care package because this had like, it's got like a bunch of different stuff in it as well as perfume. And yeah, so I just wanna go through some of this with you really quickly. I'll tell you what, you guys, I am absolutely addicted to this. I just got a huge order in the mail today of these. So she sent a whole bunch of these packets of tea. This one is called Vanilla Nut. It is from a brand called Tea Chino. And They've got like five different kinds of tea. This is a roasted herbal tea, but these are so like thick and full of body. It, it's almost like drinking a cup of coffee. Um, this one is made with organic herbs. It's a prebiotic. It is acid free and caffeine free. Um, the ingredients in this are, are organic carob, organic barley, organic chicory, dates, almonds, organic fig, 
or sorry, organic figs, natural flavors, and natural vanilla extract. And when I tell you guys I ordered every single sample pack that they have so I can try every single product that they make so I can pick out my favorites and then order those in bulk, that's what I did because I am obsessed. I drink like two or three cups of this a day because I only will let myself drink one cup of coffee in the morning and then, but I'll still want stuff like coffee, but I can't drink it because I'm really, um, I get pretty sensitive to caffeine after that one cup, but these are perfect. It's like having the decadence of a cup of coffee or the warmth and the ritual of a cup of coffee but with something that's really really good for you and they've got like a hundred different flavors and like mushroom coffees and all sorts of amazing things so thank you love for sending these because i am obsessed and i just ordered like 65 dollars worth of sample kits from them so anyways that is the first thing she sent this one this she sent these called ticino um yeah i drank them all pretty quickly this one is called vanilla nut she sent another one called dandelion coconut which was amazing um so yeah that is the first thing she also sent this here this is called light mountain natural it's an organic like hair treatment yeah i think it's like a henna and this is just kind of a clear conditioning one which i'm super excited to try this um, and I love because this this brand also makes some colored hennas, which I'm gonna try after I try this one. So she sent that. I'm super excited to give that a try. Okay, she sent before we get into the perfumes that she sent. She also sent this beauty here. Oh my gosh, this is from a brand called Kate's Magic. It says that it is intention-based aromatherapy. This one is called Sphinx Moth, and this is perfume body oil or sorry, body perfume oil. Um, this one, it says grounding and empowerment. And it's basically just like a body oil, which is my favorite thing in the world. Oh my gosh, it smells incredible. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever been to like an acupuncturist or yeah, basically like an acupuncturist. This reminds me of like an acupuncture, like an acupuncturist's office or like a beautiful massage, um, like masseuse. If you've ever been to a masseuse that uses like natural essential oils and things. So this one is, yeah, it says it's Reiki charge too, which is amazing. The Sphinx moth is a strikingly beautiful moth family named after the great Sphinx of Egypt, part human, part animal, and firmly grounded to the earth, head lifted in worship of the rising sun. Sophisticated oak moss creates a warm cradle for the sunny spirit of bergamot and tender-hearted ylang ylang. So beautiful. It smells amazing. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to try this, to put it on. It's so good. So anyways, that is from Kate's Magic and that is called Sphinx Moth Body Perfume Oil. Just beautiful. Okay, and then on to the perfumes that she sent. So she sent this beauty, which I was so surprised by this. So this is the new Ellis Brooklyn fragrance called Sunfruit. And this was one that I honestly, I wasn't even interested in this because the entire line of Ellis Brooklyn fragrances perform pretty badly. The last time they released, when they released B as well as Sweet, I picked those up and I love them, but they perform so badly that I had, I just, when I saw that this one came out and there was, I think another one came out too. When I saw that they came out, I was like, I'm not gonna waste the money on them because they're just, they're gonna perform badly. Well, this one, oh my gosh, it's, it's got the same DNA as Sweet and B. This smells like it's got Ambrette in it. I don't know if it does or not, I haven't given this one a full wear test or really looked into it too much yet, but which you guys will see it come up in a What I Wore Last Week video when I do finally give it a good full wear test. But it's beautiful. It's so good. It reminds me, like I said, it reminds me a lot of B or Sweet. It's got that same backbone, that same DNA. It smells so good and it smelled amazing. I did spray it on my hand and it smelled amazing on my hand. Um, I just can't wait to give it a good full wear test. I just think it's so beautiful. So anyways, that is Ellis Brooklyn Sun Fruit. I was so surprised by that one. And then she also sent this beauty. This is Burberry Weekend for Women. This is the reformulated version. 
So I had the original formulation, which I ended up not loving. It was a little too, it was almost a little bit too sickly sweet for me, or it kind of got sickly sweet on my skin. This one though is gonna be so much better. I could tell as soon as I smelled it in the bottle. Oh my gosh, yes. This one is, it's not as heavy as the original formulation. It's lighter and brighter. It's got this beautiful, I don't wanna say powderiness, but kind of like a warm fuzziness. The way that Ambrette behaves and fragrances for me, that gives it gives it this kind of coziness. That's kind of what I get in this. I love it. It's so good. I'm so happy. And it's funny because I had always meant to pick up the reformulation because I had a feeling that that's how it was going to be, that the new formulation was going to be a lot lighter than the original. And I was not wrong. So I was so happy to see this and um, yeah, because I just knew I was going to love it. It's so beautiful. Oh, it's good. So anyways, yeah, that is Burberry Weekend for Women, and it's such a stunner of a fragrance. I haven't given that one a good wear test yet, but I can't wait to. Okay, and then she sent these fragrances here. These are from a house called Waft. This is like, it's one of those kind of custom fragrance houses. Yeah, so I'm looking at the website, and... It is, it's a waft custom fragrance, make your own. Um, it's not that expensive, it says it's starting at $59. It says, um, created by perfumers, powered by technology, crafted by you, the highest quality natural ingredients blended by the world's greatest perfumers, 100% clean, beauty compliant. Um, her perfumer was Anne Flippo, is that her name? Yeah, Anne Flippo, I think that's how you say her name. But um, super famous perfumer, but that was her perfumer. So it says three fragrances, seven possibilities. In your package, you receive your signature scent, which was this one, along with two additional personalized scents. These scents can be worn, can be worn alone or layered to create an instant fragrance collection. So yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to try doing this, like doing it myself. So it has you go through and you like pick your bottle design. And that's funny, okay, I see now what this all means. So this on the side of the bottle, it says, um, it's got like a name. So anyways, yeah. Um, it's like a create your own fragrance kind of thing. And so this, I really liked her fragrance. This is pretty, it's, this is really, really unisex smelling to me. It doesn't lean super masculine or feminine. It asks you if you want your fragrance for day or night. She chose night. It asks if you want like for work, play, love, or it gives you like four options. And then, and she chose love. And then it gives you like four more options. Like you can choose, I don't know, fruity or sexy or whatever. She chose sexy. So it's like, I don't know, it's really pretty. It's pretty indistinct smelling. I don't even, I can't even tell what I'm smelling. It's not floral, it's not spicy, it's not, I don't know. It doesn't smell like a nighttime fragrance to me. It smells like a really clean, easy going, like spray on during the daytime and you're just gonna smell good. It's not perfumey at all. I don't know, it's really, really weird. It's like one of those things where I'm like, what am I even smelling? I don't even know. It says, let's see, is this CS90? Yeah, CS90. So I don't think that it's a thing where you actually get to pick the notes that go into your perfume. I think it's that you go through their little quiz and depending on what things you choose, you they already have a formulation made up. Uh, for your particular set of answers or decisions that you made. This one is Juniper Berry, Lavender, and Bergamot in the top, Clary Sage, Jasmine Sombach, and Immortel in the heart, Musk, Chestnut, and Pine Needle in the base. And I mean, it's really, really nice. And you can see it's a, it's, you can see with the notes, it's not floral, it's not citrusy, it's not any one, kind of perfume, it's really, 
I don't know, it's really kind of non-distinct, but it's really nice. So yeah, I'm super excited to give this one some love, give it a good wear test. This is gonna be an easy reach because it just smells good. It smells clean, it smells like clean, fresh, sweet skin. Um, it's really, really nice. So anyways, that is the, the main bottle that she got. Um, from waft and then they sent the two little layering scents. So this one here is called freshen and this one is This one is really pretty and fresh. It's got a little bit of a This one's got like a little bit of a fruity a fruitiness to it It's like bright Almost kind of minty. It's like a bright kind of slightly minty fruity fragrance. It's got a little bit of sweetness to it. It definitely has much more of a like an identity than the uh, than the big bottle does. And then this one is called Sexy and this one is this uh, this one is like the big bottle where it's kind of indistinct. Um let me let it dry down for a second here. This one's pretty. This one's got like a skin-like quality to it. Like it's kind of slightly sweet, kind of uh, kind of slightly sweet, but it's got this kind of musky skin scent quality to it. It's really warm. This one is really, really warm. Sweet, skin-like, and warm. They're super interesting. I'm really excited to play with those and to layer them and kind of figure out like what they what they are like what kind of an identity does do these perfumes have because I don't know yet but I'm gonna find it I'm gonna find out I'm gonna play with them and layer them and yeah figure out what this whole waft thing is all about but anyways you guys those are all of the fragrances that I picked up and all of the beautiful things that were sent over to me over the last couple weeks. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.